my name is Amanda Latanzi, and I am playing Danny in Danny Girl. Hi, I'm Rebecca Tucker. I play Danny's mom in the show Danny Girl. I'm William Vaughn, and uh, I play, hang on, imaginary friend Raph. He plays a drug dealer, a scientist, uh, a game show host. I mean, not to give too much away. Um, God and cancer. Oh, and a dad. Uh, that's me. Hi, my name is Marcus Wells, and I'm playing Marty and Danny Girl. Marty is a 10-year-old boy struggling with Hodgkin's cancer who is obsessed with all things movies, all things Star Wars and Indiana Jones and Star Trek, and just has a crazy sense for adventure. When the previews end and the credits start, I feel a thumping in my heart. I forget I'm me, for then I see a whole new reality. an imaginative nine-year-old. She's about to turn ten. Um, she is very serious at times, but also very imaginative. She loves to play, and she meets her first friend, and she really enjoys sharing her experience experiences with him, and they play together. My favorite part to perform in the show is when mother gets to jump into fantasy land a little bit. Uh, she's mostly sort of on the outside of this imaginative world and there's one specific section where she really just fully jumps into this creative world we've built uh, and it's so fun every time. I have never been in a show like this before. I have never gotten the chance as an adult to play a 10 year old boy and that has been so exciting and so much fun to find the playful spirit of that that I feel like I also had when I was 10. My favorite moment to perform is the fight sequence. Um, there's a whole scene where Danny and Marty go and they actually fight cancer. Um, so you get to see them using pool noodles to fight cancer and we've been working on some fight choreography which has been really fun. I mean it's bad to say, it's bad to say that uh, my favorite part of the play might be being cancer, but you gotta love a good villain. And what's more villainous than cancer? Uh, but also just being, being the imaginary friend who's like so fun and just trying to help her out and like, but also can't do anything because ultimately he's imaginary. It's a, uh, it's a wild time. It's an absolute wild time to be both this child's protector and destroyer. So putting those together is uh, mm, delicious. My favorite part to perform in the show has to be uh, building the spaceship and riding on the spaceship that both Danny and I build in one of our songs. When Neil first approached me about the musical, it was something along the lines of, we're doing a musical about a child with cancer and you can come play her mom. Uh, and I was pretty nervous about the prospect of that. I thought it would be really hard and really sad and I wasn't sure that that was what I in particular needed after a very long um, stretch of pandemic. But working on the show, it is such a celebration of imagination and creativity and it's so joyful and it really has been such an incredible process to work on and also such a beautiful, beautiful show that is so heartfelt and I think actually exactly what I needed and probably what a lot of people need right now. The thing that's been most enjoyable about the rehearsal process is how collaborative it's been. Um, our, di our director, Eileen, has really taken our input on everything so 
we'll kind of go through a scene how we might see it and then she'll say okay now try it like this um, we've come up with all of the imaginative sequences kind of together, brainstorming. How do you build a, a spaceship out of this set? How would you fight cancer in this way? And coming up with these ideas together has been really enjoyable. Yeah. The set we are performing on is unlike anything I've ever been on before. It is a dream come true because I love to climb and it is a jungle gym. I do not climb as much as the children in the play do, which is uh, a bit of a bummer because they are all over that thing like spider monkeys. Um, but I'm on it enough to satisfy that urge. Um, and also it's going to be outside, which is wild. I have never done a play outside before? Correct, so there's two firsts. Never done a play outside, never done a play on a jungle gym. And I've never been cancer. So, I mean, it's, it's I don't know what I'm doing. Performing on the jungle gym is definitely a challenge. Um, because you're kind of figuring out where you're going and then singing and making sure you're not falling off of the jungle gym. Um, but it's actually really cool because you get a lot of different uh, perspectives. You can see things from different heights and we actually get to look out into the audience and we'll be able to see everybody. So that'll be really cool. I absolutely love watching this show. Really from start to finish every time I'm off stage I find myself sitting in a corner watching um, my fellow actors create just like this overwhelming joyful imaginative space um, it's really hard to pick a specific moment because there are so many moments of just joy that I love uh, watching the, the actors who play the kids watching them truly play with each other. There is one moment that we, I would say we all love that involves a spaceship and a lot of noises that is uh, a highlight that must be seen to be believed. Um, and also my castmate Rebecca Tucker has uh, a song that is uh, beautiful and inspiring and devastating uh, and gentle. Uh, that is also just like, I can't actually pay that much attention to it in rehearsal because, or, or else I'll just like become a wreck. So I just kind of like go, wah, 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 but it's incredible. <laughs> when audiences see this production they have a little bit of nostalgia there's a lot of childhood games that are played and I just really want people to remember what it was like to be a kid and how fun it is and how much kids kind of grow up and can learn through the games that they play um, and so I really hope that they take away that even in hard times, there are still ways to kind of get through things and find find the best and the hope in everything. The world is cruel, the world is unfair, but if there is a God anywhere, please bless I hope audiences leave this production knowing that there is always hope in adversity and that optimism and playfulness and support from the people around you can really do wonders. I think audiences will be completely surprised by this show. I don't think it's going to be what they expect at all. I think there is so much fun and joy and heart in it um, and I don't think they'll expect to laugh as much as they will uh, and just come on this really fantastic journey with us. I feel like what what is nice about Danny Girl is that I don't think there is actually much of a pat moral. It's not like 
oh, cancer's tough, but like, don't worry, you'll get through it. It's more of a, I, I hope what people take away from this show is that uh, the world is complicated and often very hard, which I assume anyone who's been alive for more than eight seconds will understand, um, and that there is no um, easy way through it, there's no shortcut, there's no uh, quick fix, uh, there is just the relationships that we have, and uh, ultimately kind of how we can best get through those rough spots in our lives. And I think it's just that we're not, we're not alone in how life can throw some curveballs, but that ultimately we are strong enough to handle them. Hey guys, full stop, full, just full disclosure. Uh, I think looking at this show, it would be easy to think this is very sad, but I, I, I really can't stress enough and I'm biased, but I really can't stress enough that this is the most fun I've ever had doing a show. And, and, and then, and, and there are some things that will pack a wallop, but it is mostly silly joy play fun. Um, and it's a jungle gym, it's a jungle gym. <laughs> it's awesome.